So since I uh, injured myself, um, well, it was pretty bad when I was on my, but now I'm on the top of it. But anyway, I was out hiking and I injured myself. And I faced the realization that I might be a long ways away from hiking again, possibly. But I've been looking good and now I've, I've had very limited time to uh, knit. So what we got going on here is um, a standard 2x2 two two ribbed hat. And um, it's done in 50% merino, 50% alpaca. And I got another color over here. I made a nice hat with this. Oh, let me see if I can reach that. Yeah, there we go. I made um, <clears throat> one of my yurt hats. If you want to see it, you can look for it on Ravelry. It's a, a yurt. And the, the roof kind of mimics the uh, timbers of the uh, tops of their yurts. And then the, uh, but inverted, you see, because uh, this is the inside of the yurt. And you would see that cross hatch inside of a yurt going all the way around. So I named it uh, the yurt hat. So I had extra yarn left over from that. This is the same yarn. In fact, it's a, one of them cascade ones. Um, but as you can see it, it's got quite a heathering going on. And that's really nice. I, I love that. That is really, and it depends on the lighting, what colors really come out, you know. Anyway, I've worn this hat many times in very cold weather and it's kept my ears and my head nice and warm. Even when I was sweaty, it still um, kept me a lot uh, pretty dry because I didn't have to clean my glasses so much. But anyway, I'm going to be adding this color to this. So maybe like, I don't know, four rows maybe? Yeah, four rows. That's good enough. And then I'll go back and finish it uh, with the this purpley color. It's kind of a nice color actually. I like it. I do like it quite a bit. I think the alpaca in here is more on the whiter side. I could be wrong, but it may be that it's a dyeing technique. Could be that. Beautiful though. So this is my hand knitting project. I got more uh, machine knitting projects uh, coming my first time sharing this here.